Well, we're walking away from the old ruins, the old castle ruins. I did try to get my drone up to fly, but it seems as though it's restric restricted. Um, and Odeon uh, um, um, a Chinook um, base is... RAF Odeon. Oh, that's it, Steve, thank you. RAF Odeon is only about a mile or so away, so it could be that that is the reason why. But um, couldn't get the, the drone to take off at all. So there's something stopping me doing that. Because the last time I used the drone, it worked perfectly. So we're now walking back along this bit of canal. And we're going to deposit the drone back in the car so we haven't got to carry that. But the water level is not very deep here. And we've got... Uh, what have we got here? We got um, some mallards, ducks, and just over there. Look. But Martin was just saying to Cynthia that he thinks that this was an, a navigable um, canal at one time, but it's now not. Here's the ducks over there. But. This is quite a nice clear canal compared to the one that I saw at Cromford up in the Midlands. Interesting markings on that duck over there, which is brown and white. But we've just come a little bit further along. We've got these lock gates just in front of us. And we've just noticed another duck there. Very dark. It's got a very dark green head and neck. So that's quite fascinating. We've got these different types of ducks. We're going to have to look all these names up and we've put them up. And just here in front of us is tells you all about the canal shows you where we are and if you follow it all the way along yeah so we are now heading in which direction Martin we are heading towards that way and we're going to work our way around circle to Greywell so basically heading to the border of the M3 <laughs> oh good we're going to join a motorway we uh, we've just come along this little lane past some cottages with a lovely little stream running along the front and we've come down to this area here with this as Cynthia described it a lake it's more like a pond and this is this is the stream just here that ran past the cottages that come past there and along here and you come up on this path here martin's not sure yet which way we've got to go but oh well they're following me anyway but, I wondered about that, yeah, it's... It says up there, try your brake. Oh, try your brake. So it used to be a Ford, but I'll tell you what, this is a big Ford to have to drive through. But clearly, you know, the road disappears up that way, and we're going to be walking over it. Over this little bridge. Lovely clear water. It is clear, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but that would have been a big ford to have crossed but the water for is coming in from another direction as well as you can probably see there so there's a little bridge here again that we're walking over so the water is coming down through someone's garden clearly and then down underneath where we are So this is where the Ford would have you would have come out as you drove through it from this direction. 
just along there and then just here where I am there's a cattle grid so this is where you'd have come over and then disappeared up this way <laughs> I love this look, look. free range chickens <laughs> We've got a sign there saying free range chicken. As far as I can see, we go up there and see. A free range ball. Yeah, but this one over here. Let's go and have a look at him. Look at this magnificent looking beast. <laughs> oh dear, they're all coming out today. Just look at this here. Oh, there's, there's more than one. Cynthia would be pleased to know. Look at this animal here. There's three altogether by the looks of it. Marvellous. Look at that. Majestic. Beautiful beast, isn't it? If we all became vegetarian, I suppose these would be the ones that they would exist. We've um, come round the footpath, but just here, this is the other side of where we were just now, and you've got this, the three there, but it looks like a youngster-ish in the middle. But there's some lovely properties around here. Beautiful old cottage just over here to our left-hand side with some really lovely old brickwork there with the old-fashioned crittle windows. Martin's going to be looking at his book. To try and work out. Yep. Yeah. It's clearly well used. It is. By the cow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to walk up through this way, up through this woods. But it is lovely to be walking in a different area than uh, mm -hmm. the Midhurst, as Steve said just behind me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all our walks are basically, well, most of them are, are, are local walks to where we live. We have got to venture over Steve's way to do some walks at some point. We haven't done that yet, but we will do that at some point. So we have uh, got a lot more to explore um, and coming out here to North Wombra is uh, making a nice change. So everybody's far in line behind me. And the cattle that we saw just now clearly come up through here because they've left their footprints in the, in the, in the ground. But Marty was talking to a lady just now and she said, with the frost coming out the ground, it's making everything more sticky and muddy, which isn't very nice. But we're all kitted up, ready for it. Well, uh, Steve was just saying, and Martin, that they said it is a, a, a muddy walk. Well, yes, it definitely is a muddy walk this time of year. But it looks like we come up to a little bit of a a lane now and we've got a finger post just there pointing back where we come from or up this way into more woodland and hopefully a drier path but all around us we've got different trees That's a sign I do not like to see. What's that? Check for ticks. Yeah, they won't be out. No, there's, not this time of year. But we've got a mixture of oak trees, some birch, uh, definitely silver birch, but lots of oak trees. Not sure what this one is. In. Oh, it's an ash tree in front of me. That's an ash, that one there, going up there. So it's more, so a fair old mixture of ash, silver birch, and oak trees. 
So we're heading up this way towards another gate. But clearly this is a very well used footpath all the way around here. And we've got fields just up here in front of us. And then look, here we go, look, look at this. Lovely muddy footpath. And just here we've got this signpost. And it says footpath, Hampshire County Council, countryside service. Well, perhaps they ought to tarmac these roads then. I get onto the council, Steve. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I'm going back this way. It's okay. <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna have to let go of the gate. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, I don't think the pub will want it. We're definitely take our boots off. Oh gosh! I'm filming for one of those them com them comedy moments. <laughs> yeah, well you're not going to get it. <laughs> they copy one. Oh, you're right, Dave. Oops. Okay. <laughs> All careful. Need some grass to walk through now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. We've um just come up this track behind me. Cynthia, Steve and Martin are up ahead but I just wanted to show you this this is a hut on the side of the track and I think at one time this used to be a bird hide you've got the different openings and you've got them on either side but it would have been in a different position I think not here because you've got the M3 over behind me. Look at this amazing bit of fungi here. And just behind me, we've got this lovely old beech tree, which has had two huge boughs break off of it over the years. So here's the one end of the hide, just there. I'll come through these thicket of trees and that's the other side of it just there but I think definitely a, an old hide bird hide at one stage but I don't know I might be wrong so I've got to go back up here and then away down that way I need to get a bit of a move on because I've been left well behind now whoops comedy error or comedy moment so I'm walking along this way let me just show you along this quite open wide track going through the woods here and we've got to keep going along here until we come to a, a uh, an old farm building or a house Just down here to my left hand side, there's a, 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 another hide of some description. So they've stopped and waited for me. Perhaps they're worried I'm going to get lost. <clears throat> well, we are now walking along this path here and we've come down just over there by that big oak tree and there's a path that goes down through there and we, 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 we're cutting off uh, a part of the walk we think we don't think we've got to come back down this way but we're heading towards a tunnel and if I remember rightly Steve said it's got one of the biggest colonies of bats in the UK I think it's something like 
twelve and a half thousand bats that that nest in there or roost in there or, or whatever they do. But we do actually walk through the tunnel down this path now to my right, which is looking down that way. Very steep bank drops right away down through there. And most of this down through here is a hazel copse. So we've got to head down this way. We panicked a bit just now because Cynthia said, Does this cut off the pub? What? Well, just back there is a kissing gate, and we've walked all the way back to that. And there's a sign there that says to the tunnel, which, didn't which we didn't read properly because it doesn't go that way. The tunnel goes this way. There is an arrow on the sign pointing up through here, so this is the way we go. And if I remember rightly, when Martin looked at the map earlier on, it said when you get to the farm or the house yeah. on the left hand side, which could be that house up there. That one there. That's quite grand, isn't it? It is very grand. That is very grand. We could all have a wing each in there. Yeah. <laughs> Georgian style from this up from looking from yeah, this direction. Put Cynthia in the scullery. <laughs> and then she can come and light our fires. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you're downstairs, we're all upstairs. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, we're still walking. <laughs> Got Steve here to my left, we're in this field. Got Martin and Cynthia coming through the gate back there. And there's been a bit of a debate about which way we've got to go. We've done a, a huge loop back, loop, or if you want to call it that. But I think we are now going in the right direction. Fingers crossed. I don't think we'll know the right direction until we're back at the car. <laughs> <laughs> the field that we went through just now, we've just come back through. And I've got the OS map going. And where Steve and I thought we had to go earlier on was wrong. So anyway, we're back at this little crossroads now by the footpath side. Now my gut feeling is we've got to go down there. Down yep. And I shall soon tell you if we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> I've just come down off the road. We've come down from up that way. This is East Throp Bridge just in front of me. And I've just dropped down to have a look at this. This is the old canal bed going through here. And as you can see, it's a well-worn path. And it's very, very slippery. And we've got a head way up to my right in front of me. That's where we came down originally, but I wanted to drop down and have a look at the under the bridge, there's a signpost just here, and it tells you Basingstoke Canal, and this is Upper Up Nately Local Nature Reserve. So this is East Throp Bridge. I've just been underneath that, and we've got to go that way along there. So the guys are well ahead of me now, so I need to catch them up. Well, we've got to the tunnel now. And this is Greywell Tunnel. And you can see how they used to walk along through it, leaning against the wall and pushing with their feet. Let me just try and get some of this writing in for you. If you're finding it difficult to read this writing, just pause the video and you should be absolutely fine then.
Well, we've come to the other end of Greywell Tunnel. And although there's gates up there, let me see if I can just get a camera around to show you up there. It's, a, it's about a kilometre long. And we've just been saying that he might have been able to get two boats along there at the same time. Greywell Tunnel, 792, length 1,030 yards, four tall, restored. 75 is that? 25. Amateur County Council. 75. Yeah, there's a sign up there on the tunnel. Greywell Tunnel, built circa 1792. Length 1230 yards. Portal rest. Oh, port, portal restored 1975. Hampshire Council. So this is what it looks like going away from the tunnel. Very silted up and with weeds and some it's I don't know what this stuff is all on the top but not very appealing let me just show you back along here construction of the tunnel started in about 1788 and was fully opened in September 1794 the tunnel had no towpath so boats had to be taken through by legging laying on your back and walking on the ceiling taken up to six hours to pass through the tunnel I'm just going to wander back down in a minute but the tunnel is partly constructed of brick and is 1,230 yards long and the last boat passed through the tunnel was a narrow boat in the winter of 1913 to 1914 it became impassable in 1932 when part of the part of it collapsed it is now totally blocked let me just have a wander back up these steps. Up up to the path. There's the team up here waiting for me. More people arriving? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've finished our walk around the canal and through the woods and everywhere else in between. Um, so if you like this video, please follow, like and subscribe to the channel. Look us up on Facebook, uh, Kevin's Rambles um, group and Facebook page and Instagram. Is there anything else I've forgotten? No, no. So this will be Kevin, Martin, Steve, and Cynthia saying bye bye, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. -bye. bye. If you just enjoyed watching Kevin's latest video on his Kevin's Rambles channel, do give him a thumbs up, consider liking and subscribing, and that way you'll be kept notified of all future videos, as we are. Now, right, Zorro.